Fletcher. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Welcome to Lawrence County. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I know everybody's really excited to uh, to talk to you and meet you. And so we thought this would be a good way that maybe people who otherwise wouldn't have a chance to meet sure. you, we can um, do a video interview and put it on the laser. And, they can kind of see you face to face. Well, that's great. I, I, the fun thing so far is I've been able to talk to some parents that didn't know who I was. Yeah. And so when I tell them at the end I'm the new superintendent, it's always fun to, you know, they, but they've been very gracious yeah. so far. It's been great. So you getting settled in? Uh, getting settled in. Uh, of course, it's my official start next July 1, but yeah. I've been invited to a lot of meetings and uh, been a part of some uh, trainings that they've had here and, uh, and and just getting to meet people and talk to people has been, it's been very good. Well, that's good. Mm. Um, well, starting out, um, I guess we just wanted to kind of know what your um, education background is as far as how you worked in the field and, sure. and what your work experience has been. Um, I started out at Williamstown Independent, which is in northern Kentucky. It's in Grant County. It's a small independent school. I worked there for two years. Um, I was the middle school academic coach, high school assistant baseball coach. Um, I even refereed volleyball. And when you're an intern, as an intern teacher, you'll do anything to keep the job. But uh, I had a gentleman by the name of Cliff Wallace, who was a superintendent there, that was I felt was an exceptional leader. That it was kind of odd to be able to have a. It happened. <laughs> yeah, it happened. Um, anyway, it was kind of odd to have a relationship with a superintendent where you could learn as a leader. And uh, but I had to have a Mr. Wallace, and um, but it was, it was good to learn from Mr. Wallace at that point. I was there for two years. I met one of my best friends with, uh, while I was at Williamstown, but uh, I got married after the first year and uh, we were living in Lexington. My wife was in medical school at the time and uh, it was a 54 one way, 54 mile one way drive for me. So um, I decided to apply in some areas and, and actually I applied to one that applied only one at Bourbon County. I taught there for four years uh, while at Bourbon County I was assistant baseball coach for three years. Um, I helped out very little with the academic team, not a lot. Um, I taught everything from AP Calculus to Algebra II. Um, while at Williamstown, I taught our science, physics, computer applications. Um, I also taught geometry in that time. Uh, while at Bourbon County, um, um, the reason why we left was my wife finished residency and we had decided we wanted to move home when that was over. Mm -hmm. uh, so we did move back to Martin County, but while at Bourbon County, um, I, I had a lot of great opportunities. Uh, I was teacher of the year one year. Uh, the next year, I was Walmart regional teacher of the year. I have a nice little blue vest that has a smiley <laughs> face on the back. But that was a great honor, and the people of uh, Bourbon County was uh, was very kind, very gracious, and uh, I had a great, great four years at Bourbon County. The uh, next step was to move home. Uh, the only job opening in Martin County at the time was Inez Middle, teaching middle school mathematics. Mm -hmm. So I went from teaching AP Calculus to teaching pre-algebra. So um, that was probably the job I struggled at most, uh -huh. was being a middle school math teacher, uh, but it was fun. Uh -huh. uh, the kids are, are uh, energetic at the seventh grade level, so I had a great time with that. I taught that for two years. I was the middle school academic team coach um, at Inez Middle. And then in the third year, um, the assistant principal's job at Inez Middle opened up, and Greg Cornett hired me um, as the assistant principal at Inez Middle. Uh, that one year experience with Mr. Cornett it was worth more than any class or any range of classes that I took as principal. Mm -hmm. I learned more that one year from Mr. Cornett and the people in the administration than, um, than I had previously in any role in any class. So I spent one year as his assistant and then uh, my middle school alma mater, uh, Warfield Middle, the job opened up there. Uh, Warfield Middle was the uh, same lowest performing school in the state as far as middle schools. Uh, so we did a, a turnaround process before it's called turnaround and uh, we had the second highest test game in the state of Kentucky among middle schools in four years. That's great. So um, I had a great staff. Uh, the staff at Warfield Middle uh, would walk through fire if you asked them to, and, uh, and many times they did. And the kids there bought into everything that we were doing. Um, the teachers, uh, a lot of the great ideas that was implemented at Warfield Middle came from the teachers, and I was just happy to be able to add to it. Uh, but there was a huge turnaround at Warfield Middle. And then Sean Clark came open. Mm -hmm. I've been the principal, I had been the principal of Sean Clark High School for five years. Uh, of course, we were labeled a persisting low achieving school. And Lord willing, um, it looks like our test scores are going to be good enough so that this, uh, after this year, we'll, we'll come out of that PLA status. While Sean Clark, um, I worked with a great staff that, um, that not only supported me, but more importantly, supported the kids. 
and we made some tough decisions as a faculty. Uh, we implemented a lot of uh, different things as a, as a group, uh, but the team really pulled together and um, and we hope it looks like we'll be a proficient school again this mm -hmm. upcoming year. I don't want to jinx that, but uh, our preliminary data looks good. So uh, with the team that we had there, a gentleman by the name of Frank Baldridge, uh, Royce Mayo, who is an ER staff from the state, Marianne Crace, and of course the entire faculty uh, worked very hard over those five years. So long story, I've been an administrator for, I've been in education for 18 years. Started my 19th year at Lawrence County. I'm very excited about that. Well, that's great. And just so our you go to school at, go to college? Um, well, of course, after graduating from Sheldon Clark in 92, um, I went on to uh, Morehead State University. I have a bachelor's. <laughs> oh, yeah, go Eagles. <laughs> yeah. Um, Morehead State loved it. I was there for four years. Uh, it, was, it was a perfect fit for me, small school, uh, but big enough that I could get what I needed. Mm -hmm. uh, I, had a, I have a math major, a minor in physics. Um, the, uh, the time I was there, I was part of the uh, uh, top graduating math teaching student after graduating from Morehead State, graduated uh, summa cum laude, um, and at times I was just thank you Lottie that, that I graduated, but yeah. but again, um, Morehead State, those four years were phenomenal. I, after Morehead State, I took a few years to teach and, and see what education was like. Um, I set up my classes so that if I didn't like education, I could fall back on the engineering. Exactly. So, um, um, always have a backup plan. I always had my backup plan. Um, <laughs> You know, a lot of people went into engineering, their backup plan was education. I was just the opposite. Uh, engineering was my backup. And of course, I would have had to go on back and take probably six to eight more classes, and I could have had an associate in engineering, but I loved education from day one. Um, while at Williamstown, uh, Dr. Shaler, uh, David Shaler was the principal, and he, uh, uh, they changed the principal program so that you could get your master's in, in principalship. Uh, and he said, you know, and he told me, he said, Rob, uh, I know you plan on going back to Martin County, this would make you more marketable if you got your principalship. And of course, at that point, I, I really didn't have a desire, but I took my four years at, uh, took me four years, but I got a principalship from the University of Kentucky. Um, after getting my principalship, principalship at the University of Kentucky, I waited for a few more years till the doctoral program opened at Morehead State. So, um, and, and in, in between, I got uh, four classes with superintendency certification. Um, the, uh, so I got superintendency certification, then moved into uh, the doctoral program and finished that last May, a year ago May. So uh, another three years later, um, I've I've finished my doctoral degree and was very blessed by that also. So I was very happy with that. So it sounds like that was a good call. <laughs> it was it was it was a good call. But now, as far as if there's anybody that's watching and wants to go through the doctoral program, um, it is very gratifying. But it's a very very difficult process. Uh, sure. Not sure if I'd go through it again. Yeah. But I am thrilled that it's over. So, uh, um, but also people like David Barnett, uh, Carol Christian, uh, Dr. Wright at Morehead State, they were they were always there to support uh, Dr. Hughes. Well, tell the folks out there a little bit about your personal life. I understand your wife's a doctor. Yes, Melissa. Um, my wife is uh, she is a physician, family physician in uh, in Martin County. She works for Three Rivers, and that has been. Uh, a great thing for us because instead of working on her own, you know, now she has sick days, she has personal days, and she has vacation time, and she doesn't have to worry about the business end of it. She can be a family doctor, and uh, I'm very biased, but I think she's the best. Um, but uh, she is a family physician. She graduated from the University of Kentucky. She was also the chief resident at UK for one year. Um, I I won't say a whole lot because I'll, she'll probably watch this at home. So, I, uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, I couldn't find a, a better person to be supportive. And then what Dr. Melissa Fletcher is. Now, does she work here in Louisa or in the no, Martin County office? No, she works in the Martin County okay. office. Um, she works there uh, four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and who knows what the new job holds for us but as far as my new job here as the superintendent, but uh, right now she works four days a week in Martin County. So, what made you decide to leave as principal at Sheldon Clark and come to Lawrence County? How did that happen? Uh, it happened with a good friend of mine. Um, had uh, the night that Mike Armstrong resigned, mm -hmm. texted me and said, the job at Lawrence County is open. Um, are you interested? And, um, you know, a year ago, um, even before all this, I, I had the opportunity to come here for the Fastlane Classic. Uh, I saw a board that was willing to help a, a neighboring community that 
that was struggling since we did, uh, Stone Clark did lose their high school when we yeah. had to move to middle school. But the people of Lawrence County were so accommodating. So I think there was a seed planted back in, um, in, th in the Thanksgiving time, October, in those areas where, you know, you, you kind of look at a school system in a, in a new light. So from that point, um, it was just felt good. Lawrence County felt like a good place. And then when the text came from my friend, he said, you know, Robbie, I know that you're looking forward, uh, would like to be a superintendent, and this would be a great opportunity for you. Mm -hmm. And from that point, uh, I, I believe in prayer. I believe that uh, you follow the Lord's lead, and uh, there's going to be tough times. There's going to be great times. But if you don't follow the Lord's lead, this will be miserable. Uh, my wife and I both prayed a lot about this, and uh, and to be honest to the viewers, my first prayers were, can I be comfortable being a Sean Clark? Uh, Lord, make me comfortable being Sean Clark. Mm -hmm. uh, but the more I prayed about it, those prayers changed to, Lord, lead me to where you want me to be. Right. And then, Lord, it feels like Lawrence County is the right place. So in that process, um, I can't explain the peace that I had as far as coming from Martin County to going to Lawrence County. But I feel I really feel led um, to be here. So in a nutshell, I feel like I'm following the Lord's lead. Oh, that's good. Um, he'll definitely put you where he wants you. Yes, he will. Sure. Well, you know, he'll put you where he wants you. <laughs>